What's up enthusiasts today? We're taking a look at the mags that Lightake was kind enough to send me. Now I spent a little bit of time with these and I wanted to share my thoughts with all of you on uh, which ones I like, which ones I maybe don't like quite as much or wouldn't recommend. So let's Let's go ahead and get right on into it. I've got this mat to kind of help measure what we've got. Let's start from smallest to largest, shall we? I think that's a nice, easy way to go about it. Let's go ahead and move these up here for now. So this is one of the, I suppose I could say more popular offerings because of the affordability of it. And this is their 12, uh, 12 dart offering that is translucent, comes in various different colors and is a very good affordable option for those that don't want to spend much. Now, past that point, I don't really recommend this for those that want something durable that will last, that uh, will be their go-to magazines. Uh, they don't have the bumpers on the bottom, and while they do function, didn't have any problems uh, with function with this. Just as a note really quick, I did run all these through my, my rapid strike, test it out for reliability and no jams, no dart feeding issues, none of that, which was nice. Now we'll get into some of the nuances with some of these later as there can be issues long term, but focusing on the 12 dart here, it definitely doesn't feel the sturdiest or the strongest. It feels, um, it feels like an affordable option, which isn't a bad thing. It's, it's not, you know, a degrading thing to say like, oh, it's, it's, it's an affordable option. No, it serves a purpose and has a place in the ecosystem. These to me, honestly, are a great loner magazine or a magazine that you would take to an event where maybe you aren't certain you're going to get your magazines back. Like maybe you're playing an HVZ out of state and uh, it's a big campus, you know you're going to be running around a lot and you're going to be ditching magazines as you're running from zombie players. These are affordable. These are the most affordable option and I didn't have problems with their function. So if you want kind of a, a one and done or a potential one and done, you're not too concerned about losing them. These are a really good option, um, which is also why I think they're a good option for loaner magazines because they're affordable, because if someone walks away with one or breaks one because they're doing something silly, it's not the end of the world. It's, it's not the end of the world. And that is where I think these magazines really, really particularly excel. So moving on from that, we have one of my favorites and that is the 12 dart PMAG style. Now, important to note on these, the worker version is that these do take 14 darts natively. Um, they say they say 12, but they do take 14. You can maybe try and squish a 15th in there, but I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't recommend it. You're going to potentially run into some feeding issues then because it's going to be squishing the darts and really, really struggling to keep everything in. So I would go no further than 14 on these. And 14, for how small these are, let's, let's take a... This is 10 inches. A 10 inch tall magazine fitting 14 darts is fantastic. I mean, this 12 inch here is just under nine and a half inches. So for a little over half an inch more, you're getting two more darts. And that's, that's pretty phenomenal. I mean, even if we put it flat, it's less than half an inch longer. That's pretty significant to get two more darts out of this small, compact option. And this, I gotta be honest, this is one of my favorites. I honestly thought I was gonna be going towards the 15 size, or 15 yard PMAG options for my go-tos, but I think, I think these are probably where I'm gonna go. I'm not certain yet, but I love the feel of the worker mags. Worker mags generally feel very sturdy. I love that they give you the plate option for for their P mags, their hex mags, and their 22s, all as an option. Uh, so you can swap them out with different colors. You want to customize yours so that, you know, if you drop a mag during a game, someone knows, you know, hey, oh, that's not my mag, that's their mag, or, you know, other, other options like that. You can also put on some of the mag pull things, which uh, I may look into uh, just to give yourselves that extra hook or, or loop to grab onto, which is, which is potentially nice. I'm going to test it out and find out, but yeah, I just, I really, really think this is my favorite magazine out of, out of what I have here for my personal upcoming play styles. This is not to say it's the best magazine out of all of them for every person, but this will likely serve my personal purpose best. 
So that's that's where I'm at with this one. More more expensive than this, more expensive than these, uh, or this one at least. But this, it just it feels sturdy. It feels like it's going to last, and it's going to be able to take some drops and still keep on kicking. And that's really that worker quality that I that I like. So that's important to note that uh, personally, I would rather invest in durable mags that would last me and stick with me for games and games and games and not cause problems and ones that I can pop open, take apart as you'll notice with, with worker mags, you've got the screws at the bottom and the retention tabs here that you can pop up and you can service these and you can keep them in good condition and that is so important. So uh, very much worth the money to me, in my opinion, for going for higher end mags. And the same goes for their 15 dart hex mag offering. This is the, the short dart version. I've been using this with my Caliburn. Comes in at just over 10 inches um, and 15 darts. That is absolutely awesome. Uh, I, I love the feel of this, this magazine in particular, even more so than the P mags, I think. Just the, the hex design on this and the material used the kind of rough surface, but it's not, you know, aggravatingly rough. It's, it's, it's pleasant. They've got the ridges on the side as well. It just feels very grippy, very good in hand, very much like when I'm pulling it out of a mag holder, it's not going anywhere. It's staying in my hand and it's, it's got that worker durability that I've been talking about with this one and will be the same with this one. Uh, it just, it feels, it feels so solid. It feels like this is going to take a beating and just stick with you. So this, this right now, to me, is one of the two best options for short dart magazines from what I'm seeing. It's between this and the Katana system and they're hard to compare directly because one is meant to be thin and this one is meant to fit the standard size everything so you don't have to buy new mag holders and things like that. So it's really a trade-off and I can go probably either way at least until I get my Katana mags in and test those out. Then I'll have a I'll have a decision for you on my thoughts between these and the Katana mags because these are these are just really solid and uh, a worthwhile investment. I don't think anyone will be disappointed with this particular uh, magazine for short darts and I'm sure for full length darts the quality is just the same. Um, I will say that for the full length darts there may be a little more play in the plastic. Like this, I, I can't compress it at all. It's not compressing, whereas the P mags do a little bit, and you know the uh, other ones will. And that's because you have the guide back here or, or the back plate to keep the short darts in, right running along near the middle of this magazine. That gives it more rigidity and, and durability and stability. And it just feels that's what part of what makes it feel so good in hand. It does not feel cheap. It does not feel like a knockoff anything. It feels good. So that's that's where I'm gonna leave that one. We go to this one. They're 15 dart offering on light take that uh, looks similar to the Blaster Parts magazine, um, but this one surprised me. Honestly, this one really surprised me. I, I didn't expect too much out of it, but it feels pretty good. And it, I mean, holding 15 darts, I think you can squeak in one more dart on this one as well. Um, it looks good. It feels, you know. <sighs> I keep talking about feeling with these, and I know it's a very subjective thing, but I think most people have had that experience of picking something up and knowing that it's not the highest quality. It's, it's not going to last you, and it's not going to be, you know, the end-all, be-all of something. And it's just, most of these have that feeling of, it's better, you know, it's good, or this, this one in particular is better than I expected. It's not up there with, like, worker quality, but you're also paying less. This, to me, is, is very good value for your money because often these are on sale or there's a double deal for two of them and you can get them for a really good price and these, I, I was just genuinely surprised by how much I liked this magazine. So this is definitely an option. I, I like it also because the curve in it, the banana curve, is not that pronounced. It's not over embellished. It's not going to, you know, cause issues with other things but it just, it functions, it's affordable, it does what you want it to, and it 
you know, it feels relatively solid. And also with this one, you can pop it open. You've got the screw ports down here and the retention tabs again. So you can do maintenance on this, which I mean, that's a great little thing as well. So this to me is a surprise. This is the surprise magazine from the batch, from the light take magazines that really, really I was impressed with more than I thought of it. So keep that one in mind. If you want to bulk up a loadout, but want something that, you know, isn't quite as high up in expense as the P mags, the hex mags, or the 22s. So then we've got the, one of the original worker magazine offerings, which is their curved banana mag, which holds 15. And these, these function, they're serviceable. Um, they don't feel the most amazing. I do like that they have the rubber bumpers on them, which isn't an option on some of the other ones. Uh, I really do like that they have this on these. But beyond that, I just think these aren't my personal taste. I didn't have any problems with it. I don't like how pronounced the curve is though. As I was just talking about this, I feel like on my rig, it, it's gonna get in the way of other things. I don't like that. I want something kind of more streamlined and less awkward than this. It's not to say it's bad, I would put it below the other worker offerings in terms of quality, but uh, I, this one just wasn't for me. I think if you like the look and you want that, it's a fine option, but I think there's better ways to spend your money on some of these other mags that are available here. It's also a much longer option. It's, I mean, you notice it's so curved. I mean, yeah, it only goes up to about 11 inches, but if you measure this all the way across lengthwise, you're looking at over 11 inches, uh, you know, somewhere around 11 and a half inches. And that's, it's significant. It's a long magazine. So that's something to keep in mind. Whereas, you know, as we were just talking about this other 15 option, you know, it comes in at a, a similar, a similar size but not quite as awkward like it just it doesn't jut out as much this is an extra half an inch of length for no good reason I know a half an inch doesn't sound like much but it's all those little things that add up now we're talking about the biggest in size the worker 22s have to be brought up because they are monstrous they are massive coming in at 13 inches in length can't, I mean, it's just, it's big. It's big, it's bulky, it's awkward, but 22 darts cannot be understated. These have become very, very popular amongst a lot of players, and uh, I, I thought I might like it. I've been holding off on it, but uh, I gotta say, after using it, I would not run a full rig of these. Personally, I don't think I would unless I was playing a designated support and I'm not gonna be running because these are so big that even on me, I'm, I'm like five foot 10, five foot 11, um, in a chest rig or a belt rig, these impeded my movement. I couldn't bend properly or, or twist or it, it just impeded things too much. So while they are great in terms of function and having that extra capacity, you know, four, four darts over a standard 18 mag for nerf, I mean, that's, that's an extra burst on a rapid strike. That's great, that's considerable. And that's, it's, to me, these are a one and done. Pick up one of these and run it in your blaster at the start of a game. That way it's not on your person, it's not on your rig, it's not obstructing anything. It is just there. You can have it for that initial engagement and dump 22 darts into something. Put this in your, you know, or your, uh, your jump dump pouch and uh, forget about it because you, you don't want to be using this. You don't want to be messing with this in your rig. It obstructs too much movement, in my opinion. Again, caveat, if you're playing a designated support class where you are just stacked to the brim with darts and you're not about running or being mobile or anything like that, then yeah, these are great. Stack up on them, because capacity, fantastic. Um, but otherwise, I would just get one. I would just get one, because they are nice. Uh, now, because they are longer, there is, you know, a little bit more kind of squishiness to the plastic, but they don't feel weak. They don't feel like they're prone to breaking or anything like that. The things that I have heard from others that have been running these for quite a while is that if you don't keep them clean and do maintenance on them, 
they will start to have feed issues. I, I, I don't know if it's because of this longer spring in here um, that things can get more wiggly and, and, and kind of not secure, but I'm sure if you went long enough, you'd have similar issues with other magazines as well, but this one seems to be more prone to it. So keep that in mind as well if you don't like the idea of doing maintenance uh, with regularity on your magazines, because that is going to be important for options like this. So yeah, this is again, not the most affordable, but for a one of, I think it's a, it's a, it's a decent investment. Uh, so that, that, that's pretty much my thoughts on all the magazines that the folks over at Light Take sent my way. Now, as for what I like best, um, I, I still think it's these two, but this PMAG I think is winning out for me in terms of getting something that's going to be quality, that's going to last, and it's going to give me, because it's so small and so compact, I can run it on a rig and just feel like I still have a complete range of motion, which is huge. Especially, you know, in game types, that I, like, I like to play like our 5v5 games and other things where I feel like I need to be mobile and active and able to move and react quickly. Uh, so this, this, to me, wins out for me personally. The big surprise was this guy. And then, again, this may be the most affordable option, but don't expect it to be the most durable. This, to me, is a great loner magazine. That's, that's where I am at. Now, before I close this out, I do want to say that uh, Lite recently just posted up some images of some new magazines that they are developing, ones that we have not seen yet in the community. They, these are what looks to be their own custom designs, and they look really cool. Uh, there's some really interesting ones, interesting ones that uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying out and seeing how they perform. But that's something we're going to talk about on this week in Nerf, and uh, I will let you all know what I think about them and what they look like then. So as for that, thank you again, Lightake, for sending me these. I will have links down below to all of these offerings on Lightake's website. And uh, if there is an available coupon code, I will have that down below as well. Thank you again so much, everyone. Uh, if you're new to the channel and enjoy this video, feel free to hit the subscribe button for more in the future. And as always, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.